What is religious literacy and why does it matter? We need to look no further than a recent BBC Women's Hour interview with Zara Mohammed, the youngest and first female leader of the Muslim Council of Britain. Now you would think this is a good chance for the BBC to ask the 29-year-old leader about her plans to engage women and young people in Britain's diverse and thriving Muslim community. But it wasn't. Now how many uh, female imams are there? I mean, I think, again, I'm not, I, I wouldn't have a clue on these numbers because my role is making sure that we include our affiliates, particularly women, in the work that we are doing and making sure that um, where our structures, as well as the work we do, um, are truly representative. So I think that do, you know, do we? Sorry, you don't know. That's, that's fine if you don't know. But do do we have female imams in this country? Yikes! What is on display here is a fundamental lack of religious literacy, a term that refers to one's ability to comprehend or understand a given religion. And let me tell you, a little bit of knowledge can go a really long way. For example, if BBC Women's Hour host Emma Barnett had bothered to research this question before asking it, which you're supposed to do as a journalist, she would know that there's no registry for imams, regardless of gender. And while there's certainly a minority, female imams absolutely do exist, as do mosques that make a point of being inclusive to anyone who wants to come, regardless of gender, sexual orientation, or identity. And while Barnett probably thought that she was on to an interesting and provocative question, her persistence at picking at this particular point dug into a really tired trope of white western feminism painting Islam as patriarchal and backwards, which honestly isn't a good look for anyone. Does this mean that only Muslim journalists should report on issues impacting the Muslim community or Jewish journalists should report on issues impacting the Jewish communities and so on and so forth? Absolutely not. But if you are a journalist and you are in a position to interview someone from a different religious or cultural or faith background, do yourself a favor and do your homework first.